you know, we are starting to hear more and more about these stories of folks that become foster parents or they adopt children, just like the story we heard last year of the lesbian couple that had children and the children were underfed and they ended up driving over a cliff, killing themselves and the children. You know, just because somebody has the ability to adopt children, it doesn't mean they are fit to be parents. And this is exactly the case when it comes down to this woman, Michelle Hackney, 48 years old, a YouTube creator. She abused seven adopted children who also starred in her video, which were watched by millions on YouTube, ladies and gentlemen, according to the police. That's a damn disgrace. So this woman comes out of Arizona. She adopted seven children and had these children on her YouTube channel. And the channel was called Fantastic Adventures, which had nearly 800,000 followers. But behind the camera, the 48-year-old woman beat the kids, doused them with pepper spray, damn, and locked them in a closet for days without food, water, or bathroom access, according to court documents. Just nasty, mean, too evil to be a parent to children. Too evil. Michelle Hackney was arrested Friday at her home in Mary Copa, where the alleged abuse of her adopted children occurred on charges of child, uh, child molestation, child abuse, unlawful punishment, and child neglect. Hackney's two sons, Logan and Ryan Hackney, were also arrested for fa uh, failing to report the abuse on a minor, Fox 10 Phoenix reported. So I guess those are her biological sons. Wow. Yeah, those are, yeah, they're grown. They're not, definitely not children when you see them down here in the picture. Authorities began investigating the Hackneys on March 13th when they received a report regarding child re abuse in the household. A person contacted police saying her adoptive sister was being pepper sprayed locked in the closet, dubbed with a green screen room um, for days without food, water, and access to a bathroom, court documents stated. The individual said her six other siblings were also allegedly being abused in the same way. Police conducted a welfare check at the Hackney's home and found a child wearing only a pull-up diaper inside a closet with a locking mechanism. The six other children in the house appear to be malnourished. Damn. So these are her two useless sons that didn't even report the shit, didn't care what their mother was in the house doing to those children. The children who were removed from the home later detailed to investigators the alleged torture they endured in the house, including being drenched with pepper spray from head to toe, spanked, and forced to take ice baths. Oh, my goodness. Fox 10 reported Hackney would allegedly dunk the children's head underwater when they disobeyed and forced them to stand in the corner with their arms raised above their head for several hours. Let me ask, what did her parents do to her when she was being raised? There's a lot of jacked up people like this out here in the world. You know, you have to wonder what kind of household did she come from? What were her parents like? How did her siblings get treated?
I either get beat with a hanger or belt or a brush or get pepper sprayed from head to toe, one of the children told police, according to court documents. Two of the children told authority Hackney sometimes grabbed and injured their private parts. One girl recalled being in pain for five, four to five days, documents stated, damn. It is something about genitals that these people just absolutely love. Um, authority said the adopted children haven't been in school for years because Hackney needed them for her popular YouTube videos, which had more than 250 million views by Wednesday. The children said Hackney would discipline them if they didn't remember their lines or perform the way she wanted. Oh my goodness, he had these kids performing. They couldn't even be their natural selves. On the Fantastic Adventures YouTube channel that began in 2012, the children were painted in a vastly different light while acting out elaborate 10 to 15 minute skits. They're spotted sometimes eating, talking about homework, playing games in a fantasy world concocted by Hackney. So apparently the lifestyle they were living did not match what they were doing online. The show's Instagram page also showed pictures of the children smiling and a February post spoke about a girl's journey from foster care to Hackney's house. What a nightmare that is. Logan Hackney admitted his mother had abused the children and locked them in the closet for a long period of time. Hackney had denied the abuse allegations and said she only punished the children by making them stand in corners, spanking and grounding them. Fox 10 reported. You know, it never fails. Their disciplining always go way over the top. And I bet you what those kids did didn't match the punishment. It never does. YouTube said in a statement to the Arizona Republic that Hackney's channel was demonetized following her arrest. The channel was taken down if she is convicted or pleads guilty to the felony charges. So they're waiting to see if she is convicted or pleads guilty, but the channel otherwise can stay up, knowing already these children were abused. But they want to come to our channel and complain about hate speech, y'all. We're not putting our hands on children. We're not harming anybody, but they're complaining about hate speech, y'all. But look at what's happening that is far worse than anything going on on black YouTube, anything. We take safety on YouTube very seriously, the statement said. So we work closely with leading children, uh, child safety organizations and others in our industry to protect young people. But yet, Remember, YouTube is the one that had pedophiles going on to children channels and sharing porn, kitty porn videos and information with each other in the comment section. Now, they have since disabled commenting in children videos, but look at how long it took them to make that move. It took their um, advertisers to complain about it for them to do something about it. But they come to our channels trying to perpetrate like we're the problem. They are right. When we're made aware of serious allegations of this nature, we take action. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to remember they're keeping this channel up to see how things go legally for this woman. But we are just talking about things that are impacting our lives and your channel gets taken down without any warning. They'll snatch yours down just for talking about something, 
but this woman's channel get to stay up just in case, you know, we need to see if she's convicted or pleads guilty. Wow. When we're made aware of serious allegations of this nature, we take action, which may include suspending monetization or upon conclusion of an investigation, terminating channels. So they got to wait and see with a child abuser. But if you get on your YouTube channel and say something they don't like, you're off. <laughs> Whoa, these people are screwed up. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.